Okay, welcome to another Arm 3 tutorial on how NR6. Today we're going to go over N or NR6 sites, as well as NR6 site markers. We'll also be using a asset compiler, so we'll throw these down. So we'll start off. So sites basically what they do is they'll spawn groups, depending on how many groups you want. So you can put them in like cities, military places. And basically just piles it up with troops and has them doing patrols and some units will st um, be hiding in the buildings. You can change that. If you want them all on patrol, you can put it as one. If you want to make it uh, basically simple, or you want it, like not as many, half of them going on patrol, you can. Or you can set it to zero and basically everyone goes into a building. So, essentially you could have it just spawn random blue four troops or... You can go into op four indie blah 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 or if you have custom units you can just go into asset compiler or if you just want to set it so it only spawns certain units you want like so I only want it to spawn rifle squad so we'll essentially set that up and then when it spawns it starts it should start doing stuff another cool thing with this is you can actually put down like static weapons and whatnot and it will then they will try to man them so if we were to go throw this down, put a GMG, and then randomly put a motor motor tube right here, and that will will show show you and they will man it. Dynamic markers, so you can turn around, you can name it um, however you want. This will help. So if you were fighting one mission where you take objectives, this is a good way you can see if taking it. I'll we'll just call this alpha. And then you want to sync this to the objective site marker. So when we start this mission up, it should pop up the objective. It's alpha. And I'll show you what it can do. You could also sync the objective or the site to the commander too. Or not at all if you don't want to go through the hassle. Basically it's just created the objective as alpha. And it starts randomly deploying guys around. So if you want to like put up static guns, they'll they'll run into them. So it doesn't automatically put them in there but it also but it at least gives the troops on the ground a chance to say like, hey, you man this gun, man this gun. So now you have your defense. And now the cool thing is, is you can also, this is a Zeus, but if you're the enemy squad, so let's just say, boom, you wiped out their entire force. All of their forces are dead, and then you basically walk in as. And that turns into the op board captured it. And maybe you want to be a little bit funnier, and you want to just make it. Do you taste it? Everything order. Solid copy. And now, Indy has. It. And you can have multiple objectives. The only downside is the more of these you have, the more uh, it'll start popping up. But it beats having to thing. You don't have to make too big of a mess on your map. So hopefully that helps you guys out. This is um, the NR6 sites thing. Um, but you can do other stuff besides this. So just before we go too crazy. We could deploy vehicles, so we could, not empty vehicles. You gotta have it at least manned. It's not like aircraft, air reinforcement modules. Sink. So essentially, this vehicle will be patrolling. These guys are gonna be. Dead.
You know, just for the fun of it, let's have Spetsnaz attack. They're gonna come over here. Scoop Ricardo. Gato. Ponyal Vash. I did that. 